Hi, it's Gabrielle from BYS Gardens, and today we are planting bulbs because I guess I ordered a bunch of bulbs in the spring or summer that I forgot about, and so now it's freezing cold, but they have to go in the ground. So I picked up a couple of spots, and I'm just going to show you how to plant a bulb and how I mark them. So I usually, if you care about the names of things, because later somebody will be like, oh my gosh, what is that? And you're like, I don't know, because I didn't mark it. This is what you need to do. So I buy these and they're little um, like tin plant markers and for the short term or for something that's annual, I just write it with a garden pen and make sure it's a garden pen, otherwise it washes away. Um, and then you're, you don't know what they are anyway. But then what I do, um, once I decide, oh, that's something I really like, I'm keeping it, or a perennial, then I use one of these. And basically what you do is you punch out the name um, and any other details you want about it and it's on a little sticker that is weatherproof. I buy the outdoor ones, and then I stick it right over the top of my writing, and I leave it where I have things marked. An example is right here behind. She can go down and, and it's really awesome because they don't fall off. You never lose the name, and then you're never at a loss of what you planted. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how to plant tulip bulbs and hyacinth bulbs, and really any bulb. Right down here. So I basically picked a spot. These were um, annuals and you can see that they've restarted to reseed, which doesn't really matter because they're gonna die as soon as it gets too cold anyway. And so I'm going to put two different types of bulbs. And those are, I have a really beautiful peach melba tulip and then I also have some hyacinth. And I like to mix um, bulbs together a little bit so that you get um, different, obviously different flowering timing and also different colors and different shapes. And then what comes up in this bed later is, you know, hollyhocks and iris, and there's um, medicinal plants in here. But basically, I'm just going to use a hoary knife. You can use a dibble, which is a long kind of a cylindrical thing with a point, and it, you know, makes a big, huge hole. Um, and another thing is a, a bulb planter, which you push in and it pulls out a little core of soil. But this is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna use. So usually bulbs want to be about six inches down. So that's pretty much the depth of this hoary knife. So you make a nice little hole for it. And you, the other thing about it is this is the bottom of the bulb and this is the top of the bulb. So this is where your foliage and your flowers and everything are gonna come from. So I'm gonna put that right down in there, seed it in there, and I'm gonna do this whole area. The other thing I'm going to do is give it some food and this is rose and flower mix but it's also really great for bulbs as well you have to feed your bulbs otherwise the flowers will just keep getting um, weaker over the years if you don't have really great soil so um, thank you very much for watching and if you ever have any questions just dm us or send us an email at bwisegardens at icloud.com thanks bye